this video we're gonna be witness to a replica investigation, which is a technique to make a print of a macrostructure of a sample. Mostly replica is done on sample that do not need to be destroyed or sample that are on site. Okay. So what is done as you do the grinding, okay, and then you polish the surface, okay, and then you make sure that it's at a mirror finished, and then you come. You make a print like this. So you make a print. Then what you're gonna have there, that's what you bring in the lab for investigation. Then you get your microstructure like the way it is there. But remember, prior to this, you need to polish, grind, polish, and etch your sample. So when it's etched, then you do your print and bring it to the lab. So this is how it's done. So you can see. So this is how it's done. So that's over there is what you're gonna bring for macro structure investigation or replica investigation. So then we're gonna go and be witness of the sample preparation. Cheers. Okay guys, this is what we call replica. It's a macro structure that we polish the sample without destroying it. Other macro structure, we cut the sample in pieces like this one, it's supposed to carry in smaller and you go polish it. But this one, what it does is we're gonna polish as it is. This one called a uh, replica. So what I, do, what I do is I start polishing. There's a different grips here. Um, there is a 320. Then from 320, we can go for. It depends on the sample how rough it is. If it's not that much rough, and jump from 320 to 600 or 400. So my safe I is I start with 320. From there, then I'll go for 400 grips. Then from there, I'll go for. So 600, after 600 I go for 800, 800 I finish with 1200, that's what I do. So now I've already done these clips, now what I do is I'm just using, after that I use the, what do you call it, um, polishing cloth. This is a polishing cloth, the rough one. After this I will use the soft polishing cloth. And this is a soft one, as you can see it's soft. This one is just to clean up the dirty. Yeah. So for now, I'm busy doing the rough one. This is a polishing cloth, but this is a rough one. So I just want to remove the dirty, and after that, I'll use the soft one. Yeah, this is how we do the polish. soft one just to clean it up I'll put the four lip here, that's why I'm doing it every all of them at once. 
we'll have to finish one and after that we'll the, the next one after we'll all of them at once. So that's pretty much another cotton again. Must make sure that it's clean, clean, clean. Mustn't be, no, there mustn't be any dust here. Now it's clean. After this, I need to mix the etching. I need to etch this paprika so I can see where the welding and it affects the zone. Ah, it's done. I'm cleaning it. Okay, this is what we use. There's nitric acid. And there is hydraulic acid. So for this one, I'm gonna mix um, alcohol and uh, which is a, a nitric acid with I don't know I'm gonna mix alcohol and uh, which is ethanol with a nitric acid, 55 percent. So this portion that I'm doing with replica is the the client marketed for us. But as if I can see there is a defect, there is a rolling in the middle here. So there is a heat effect zone. You can see the effect of them there. There is a pay material and the holding there. So I need to pull when I'm putting the replica, I need all these three I must show. I must show this, I must show I must show a wall, heat effect zone and there. And the pay material. So if you type here then you will see that's what I show there. Make sure that uh, you wear gloves because this chemical once you make sure it can damage your skin. So this is ethanol. So I'm gonna put a uh, nitric acid, 55 percent. I'm supposed to put 10 percent, but I'm gonna put 4 percent because this sample it etches fast. There we go. We are etching, we use um we use um photons just to wipe it off. Okay, let's start etching now. And make sure that alcohol is ready. We have a moment to etch, we need to wipe at the same time. So yeah, this is fine. Only try the corner, see if the itching is fine. Okay, so it's like that. You just rub it off like this until you see that it's been etched. So, just like that. Okay, itch again. I just want to see how it's going to look like. I'm done here. Yeah, you can see for you. There we go. Yeah. There we go. It is eight now. Start edge to make sure that it's wiped off. Okay, let's so finish it up so that can you see where the body is. Yeah, 
there. If you can see clear there, there's a welding there, the defect zone and the pair material. Everything is showing there. <clears throat> so after this operation is done, this is when you can make the print of the prepared sample. So it was a pleasure of mine sharing this video with you. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I hope that you're going to enjoy it. For now, I'm going to ask you to take care of yourself and see you on the next video. Bye.